nothing strengthens authority so much as silence. I love those who can smile in trouble, who can gather strength from distress, and grow brave by reflection. Tis the business of little minds to shrink, but they whose heart is firm and whose conscience approves their conduct, will pursue their principles unto death. Art is never finished, only abandoned. Learning never exhausts the mind. Tears come from the heart and not from the brain. The greatest deception men suffer is from their own opinions. There are three classes of people, those who see, those who see when they are shown, those who do not see. As a well-spent day brings happy sleep, so a life well-spent brings happy death. Poor is the pupil who does not surpass his master. Why does the eye see a thing more clearly in dreams than the imagination when awake? I have been impressed with the urgency of doing. Knowing is not enough, we must apply. Being willing is not enough, we must do. Time stays long enough for anyone who will use it. Iron rusts from disuse, water loses its purity from stagnation, even so does inaction sap the vigor of the mind. The noblest pleasure is the joy of understanding. Nature is the source of all true knowledge. She has her own logic, her own laws, she has no effect without cause, nor invention without necessity. The beginnings and ends of shadow lie between the light and darkness and may be infinitely diminished and infinitely increased. Shadow is the means by which bodies display their form. The forms of bodies could not be understood in detail, but for shadow. Nature is the source of all true knowledge. She has her own logic, her own laws, she has no effect without cause, nor invention without necessity. The human foot is a masterpiece of engineering and a work of art. In rivers, the water that you touch is the last of what has passed and the first of that which comes, so with present time. While I thought that I was learning how to live, I have been learning how to die. Intellectual passion drives out sensuality. A beautiful body perishes, but a work of art dies not. Where there is shouting, there is no true knowledge. Water is the driving force of all nature. He who loves practice without theory is like the sailor who boards ship without a rudder and compass and never knows where he may cast. It's easier to resist at the beginning than at the end. I have offended God and mankind because my work didn't reach the quality it should have. Who sows virtue reaps honor. Medicine is the restoration of discordant elements, sickness is the discord of the elements infused into the living body. Just as food eaten without appetite is a tedious nourishment, so does study without zeal damage the memory by not assimilating what it absorbs. Marriage is like putting your hand into a bag of snakes in the hope of pulling out an eel. The natural desire of good men is knowledge. Nature never breaks her own laws. Just as courage imperils life, fear protects it. Anyone who conducts an argument by appealing to authority is not using his intelligence, he is just using his memory. All our knowledge has its origins in our perceptions. Our life is made by the death of others. Knowledge of the past and of the places of the earth is the ornament and food of the mind of man. He who is fixed to a star does not change his mind. Every action needs to be prompted by a motive. Human subtlety will never devise an invention more beautiful, more simple or more direct than does nature because in her inventions nothing is lacking, and nothing is superfluous. Life well spent is long. To such an extent does nature delight and abound in variety that among her trees there is not one plant to be found which is exactly like another, and not only among the plants, but among the boughs, the leaves and the fruits, you will not find one which is exactly similar to another. The function of muscle is to pull and not to push, except in the case of the genitals and the tongue. Blinding ignorance does mislead us. Oh! Wretched mortals, open your eyes. Where the spirit does not work with the hand, there is no art. He who wishes to be rich in a day will be hanged in a year. Science is the captain, and practice the soldiers. You do ill if you praise, but worse if you censure what you do not understand. Beyond a doubt truth bears the same relation to falsehood as light to darkness. 
men of lofty genius sometimes accomplish the most when they work least, for their minds are occupied with their ideas and the perfection of their conceptions, to which they afterwards give form. Experience never errs, it is only your judgments that err by promising themselves effects such as are not caused by your experiments. The truth of things is the chief nutriment of superior intellects. I have wasted my hours. For, verily, great love springs from great knowledge of the beloved object, and if you little know it, you will be able to love it only little or not at all. Men of lofty genius when they are doing the least work are most active. All knowledge which ends in words will die as quickly as it came to life, with the exception of the written word, which is its mechanical part. Common sense is that which judges the things given to it by other senses. It is better to imitate ancient than modern work. The mind of the painter must resemble a mirror, which always takes the color of the object it reflects and is completely occupied by the images of as many objects as are in front of it. People talk to people who perceive nothing, who have open eyes and see nothing, they shall talk to them and receive no answer, they shall adore those who have ears and hear nothing, they shall burn lamps for those who do not see. The length of a man's outspread arms is equal to his height. How many emperors and how many princes have lived and died and no record of them remains, and they only sought to gain dominions and riches in order that their fame might be everlasting. The spirit desires to remain with its body, because, without the organic instruments of that body, it can neither act nor feel anything.